Well, prosecutors say he wore a cape with a swastika on it and a mustache similar to Adolf Hitler as he terrorized members of the Jewish community in Rogers Park over the weekend. Now charged with hate crimes, Cook County judge gave the 39-year-old Niles man a quarter of a million dollar bond. CBS investigator Greg Hickey joins us live from nearby West Rogers Park, where yet another hate crime was reported this morning. Megan. Brad, we don't know a lot about the incident here this morning. Police are intentionally limiting the details because they're still searching for a suspect in that case. Now, the suspect who was charged in that string of incidents over the weekend in Rogers Park had already been taken into custody. We had a incident this morning which involved anti-Semitism and hate. Rabbi Baruch Hertz of the congregation B'nai Reuven says they were threatened by a group of men this morning who later smashed the window of a car parked in the parking lot. The latest in a horrific string of anti-Semitic threats and vandalism from over the weekend on the city's north side. Thank you to the police department. Rabbi Hertz joined members of CPD and the Cook County State's Attorney's Office to denounce hate. The issue has to be addressed because we can't allow even emotional hate, any, any form of hate is hate which can lead to the worst things as we have experienced uh, Jewish people as well as everyone. At least four incidents have been attributed to this man, 39-year-old Shahid Hussein, who prosecutors say made his way through Rogers Park over the weekend, defacing and damaging several synagogues and a Jewish school within a few blocks of each other. The way that we'll overcome this darkness and this hate is through love. At one point, a victim said Hussein was screaming threats to get the Jews and break all the windows of every synagogue while making a saluting motion similar to a Nazi salute. Hussein was eventually taken into custody and admitted to the crimes. Yesterday, we also told you about a Jewish food store and a Jewish bakery that sustained property damage. Investigators tell us they're still gathering evidence in those cases, but Hussein is possibly connected to those incidents as well. The next court date. Is Cook County State's Attorney Kim Fox said Hussein was on probation for a forgery case. He spent two years in prison for that case. He also has a stalking and burglary case on his record. His attorney said he appears to suffer from some mental health problems. Superintendent David Brown seemed worried about copycats. We did have some internal debate about whether we'd hold a press conference. And we should never give any room for any of us to hide from what hateful people do. Hussein is now facing multiple felony counts, and he's still being considered in those two other cases. As for the incident here this morning at last check, no one was in custody. Live in West Rogers Park, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 Investigators.